वेलकम टू ऑडियो वीडियो सिस्टम प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर हितेश तुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ऑप्टिकल रेकॉर्डिंग ऑन फिल्म्स इन दिस सेशन सो टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑप्टिकल रेकॉर्डिंग ऑन फिल्म्स दीज आर माय सेशन आउटलाइंस वेर फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टाइप्स ऑफ ऑप्टिकल रेकॉर्डिंग विच इज अवेलेबल एंड देन आफ्टर आई एक्सप्लेन मैथड्स ऑफ ऑप्टिकल रेकॉर्डिंग ऑन फिल्म in which there are two basic methods of optical recording that i'll discuss first i'll discuss variable density method of optical recording on films and that then after i'll explain variable area method of optical recording on films so these two methods that i'll explain to record sound on films and then after i explain reproduction of sound from recorded films so these are my session outlines so let us begin this session with first agenda that is types of optical recording so basically when we talk about types of optical recording there are basically two types of optical recording one is optical recording on films so when we talk about recording on photographic films that is what we are doing it by converting audio signal into variation of light intensity and that light intensity that we fall on film and such recording of sound appears in form of sound track of 2.5 mm wide near one edge of movie cinema film so here by changing intensity of light with respect to variation in audio signal we change light intensity and that we fall it on film and that is what we are recording and this is what the basic way of recording photographic film now see here and second way of record optical recording is recording on compact disc where here first this is what we are doing it with the use of laser beam where we convert first given electrical signal into digital signal and in digital signal we have ones and zeros so that ones and zeros will turn on and turn off laser beam and that turning on and turning off of laser beam that we are recording on compact disc where on disc we provide variable width of pits and based on pits which is what we are making on disc we record digital sound here so this type of recording is even referred as compact audio digital disc or one can say compact disc so here in this session we will see recording on photographic film in complete detail so let us see the methods to have optical recording on photographic films so basically when we talk about optical recording on photographic films then there are basic two methods one is a variable density method and second is variable area method in this session we are deal with to learn both of this method in detail so let us have first variable density method to have optical recording on films now see first of all whatever sound that we are generating over here that we will be converting in electrical form by using mic so mic that is what we are using it to convert audio signal into electrical signal then after that is audio amplifier in audio amplifier there are two basic amplifiers one is pre amplifier that we use it just after mic and then after there will be power amplifier that is to increase strength of signal so the electrical signal which is converted by mic that will be very weak so first we will be using line amplifier and then after there will be power amplifier i have placed only audio amplifier so that is a combination of line amplifier plus power amplifier so that signal now that signal will be connected that audio signal that will be connected in series with high tension dc voltage 
so here this audio signal is first amplified by audio amplifier audio amplifier is combination of line uh, pre amplifier and power amplifier and that signal will be connected in series with high tension dc voltage and we also have low tension dc voltage here you will get to know like why do we use this see we translate this audio signal in terms of light intensity right so here in lamp there are two things one is anode and one is filament so this anode that is connect this anode that is connected with audio signal plus series high tension dc voltage and this filament that is connected with low tension dc voltage so as one can see over here that is how we are connecting it now as audio signal is having some variation this high tension dc voltage is connected in series with audio signal that will change intensity of light through this anode so this anode that will change intensity of light which is happening in this direction with respect to audio signal which is happening over here right this high tension dc voltage is constant dc voltage now audio signal that will be having somewhat variation and that variation is getting translated into change in light intensity in this direction so the light which we are generating by this lamp that will be having change in light intensity means light intensity is getting change with respect to audio signal and then after we pass this through a slit and after that we use lens to focus that light so this is how we are focusing that light you can see it and that focused light beam that beam density will change with respect to audio signal and that light that we are falling on film so this is what film one can see on that we are falling this light and this sound track that is what we are moving as we provide audio signal over here and that sound track will be uh, that sound track will be recorded on this film right so this is what the basic process that we do so here by changing density of light we record film by this complete method so this is what variable density method to record optical recording on films now let us have second method so second method is variable area method now see in variable area method we have a lamp of constant intensity of light so that is radiating constant intensity of light and that constant intensity of light that we fall on slit now see this slit that is having opening and that opening will change with respect to audio signal now how its opening means area area opening of this slit how that will get change let us try to understand that see first audio signal which we have that will get translated into electrical signal by having a mic and after that we use audio amplifier this audio amplifier is again combination of pre amplifier as well as power amplifier and that will make this weak audio sig electrical signal into strong audio electrical signal and this is what we are connecting it with this slit now see by using electromagnetic induction here you can see these are the magnetic pole and this is what mechanical structure that mechanical structure will change opening of this slit and that opening of this slit that will be based on audio signal so the force applied on this mechanical structure will change opening of this slit and based on change in opening of this slit intensity of light will change so here we use variable area method where opening of this slit that is been decided by this audio signal which we are generating it by using this mic so we have sound that is actual signal 
that will get translated into audio signal then we amplified and that we give it to this structure and based on electromagnetic induction we generate magnetic force and that magnetic force is proportional to audio signal and that force will open this slit and based on opening of this slit area will change and that area will change light intensity see how that happens this is what constant light that is coming from lamp and that we give it to slit now here one can see opening that is this much right now and based on audio signal this opening will in change and that change will change area over here so based on that intensity of light over this side that will vary and then we focus it by having lens and that focused light that focused light that we record on optical films so here one can see based on opening of area the soundtrack that is recorded on optical film so this is how variable area method that is been utilized to record sound on film now let us have regenerate reproduction of sound from films so now we'll be having films which is record which is already recorded now based on that films how we can regenerate sound signal so see here we have lamp with constant intensity of light so that will generate constant intensity of light as one can see it over here then we focus that by having lens and that focused the light now that is what we are passing it through slit so that we can have proper beam and that proper beam again getting focused and that we fall it on films so here film with soundtrack that one can see and this film that we revolve and based on that revolution you'll be finding on this film there will be different value of sound right and based on that over this side you will be finding light intensity which will vary like see over this side there will be constant intensity of light but based on recorded film there will be variable light intensity over this side and that is what we are receiving it by photo cell and that photo cell will generate electrical signal and that electrical signal that we give it to audio amplifier and then we give it to loud speaker which will generate sound so this is how we have reproduction of sound from recorded films thank you so much for watching this video i would like to get your suggestions from your side the reason is i want all those topics that has to be covered on my channel so that students can easily learn everything which is required in the university courses and you can download all this material which i am teaching here from my application engineering funda so i am providing all those material free of cost you can download it it will be easier to you to learn all those topic which i am teaching here again thank you so much for watching this video and your suggestions are most welcome to me so please do give me your valuable suggestions which is highly required here to optimize this channel thank you so much